Welcome. Learn about chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine anti-malarial medication. Hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine have been recommended by Chinese and South Korean health authorities for the treatment COVID-19. In vitro studies have demonstrated that hydroxychloroquine is more potent than chloroquine against SARS-CoV-2 with a more tolerable safety profile. Chloroquine Chloroquine is a medication used to prevent and to treat malaria in areas where malaria is known to be sensitive to its effects. Certain types of malaria, resistant strains, and complicated cases typically require different or additional medication. Occasionally it is used for amebiasis that is occurring outside the intestines, rheumatoid arthritis, and lupus erythematosus. It is taken by mouth. It is also being used experimentally to treat COVID-19 infections as of 2020. Common side effects include muscle problems, loss of appetite, diarrhea, and skin rash. Serious side effects include problems with vision, muscle damage, seizures, and low blood cell levels. It appears to be safe for use during pregnancy. Chloroquine is a member of the drug class for aminoquinoline. It works against the asexual form of malaria inside the red blood cell. Chloroquine was discovered in 1934 by Hans Andersag. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the safest and most effective medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 0.04 US dollars. In the United States, it costs about 5 US dollars and 30 cents per dose. Chloroquine has long been used in the treatment or prevention of malaria from Plasmodium vivax, P. ovale, and P. malariae, excluding the malaria parasite Plasmodium falciparum. For it started to develop widespread resistance to it. Chloroquine has been extensively used in mass drug administrations, which may have contributed to the emergence and spread of resistance. It is recommended to check if chloroquine is still effective in the region prior to using it. In areas where resistance is present, other anti-malarials, such as mefloquine or atovaquone, may be used instead. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend against treatment of malaria with chloroquine alone due to more effective combinations. As it mildly suppresses the immune system, it is used in some autoimmune disorders, such as rheumatoid arthritis and lupus erythematosus. Hydroxychloroquine Hydroxychloroquine, sold under the brand name Plaquenil among others, is a medication used for the prevention and treatment of certain types of malaria. Specifically it is used for chloroquine-sensitive malaria. Other uses include treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and porphyria cutanea tarda. It is taken by mouth. It is also being used as an experimental treatment for COVID-19 infections. Common side effects include vomiting, headache, changes in vision and muscle weakness. Severe side effects may include allergic reactions. Although all risk cannot be excluded it remains a treatment for rheumatic disease during pregnancy. Hydroxychloroquine is in the anti-malarial and foraminoquinoline families of medication. Hydroxychloroquine was approved for medical use in the United States in 1955. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the safest and most effective medicines needed in a health system. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 4 US dollars and 65 cents per month as of 2015 when used for rheumatoid arthritis or lupus. In the United States, the wholesale cost of a month of treatment is about 25 US dollars as of 2020. In the United Kingdom, this dose costs the NHS about 5 pounds and 15 pence. In 2017, 
It was the 128th most prescribed medication in the United States with more than 5 million prescriptions. Hydroxychloroquine treats malaria, systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatic disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, porphyria cutanea tarda, and Q fever. In 2014, its efficacy to treat Sjogren's syndrome was questioned in a double-blind study involving 120 patients over a 48-week period. Hydroxychloroquine is widely used in the treatment of post-Lyme arthritis. It may have both an antispirochete activity and an anti-inflammatory activity, similar to the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-malarial medications Anti-malarial medications, also known as anti-malarials, are designed to prevent or cure malaria. Such drugs may be used for some or all of the following. Treatment of malaria in individuals with suspected or confirmed infection. Prevention of infection in individuals visiting a malaria endemic region who have no immunity. Routine intermittent treatment of certain groups in endemic regions some anti-malarial agents, particularly chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, are also used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis and lupus-associated arthritis. Current On March 16, 2020, advisor to the French government on COVID-19, Professor Didier Raoult, announced that a non-randomized unblinded trial involving 24 patients from the southeast of France supported the claim that hydroxychloroquine was ineffective. Treatment for COVID-19 The trial is yet to be peer-reviewed. An amount of 600 mg of hydroxychloroquine was administered to these patients every day for 10 days. They reported a significant decrease in viral load. The drug appeared to be responsible for a rapid and effective speeding up of their healing process and a sharp decrease in the amount of time they remained contagious. 70% of patients were considered cured, compared with 12.5% of those who did not receive hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin combination. The antibiotic azithromycin, which is known to be effective against secondary infections from bacterial lung disease, led to even better outcomes. Professor Raoult said the results showed there was a spectacular reduction in the number of positive cases with the combination therapy. At six days, among patients given combination therapy, the percentage of cases still carrying SARS-CoV-2 was no more than 5%. On March 17, after testing in several hospitals around Italy, the Italian pharmaceutical agency has included hydroxychloroquine in the list of drugs with positive preliminary results for treatment of coronavirus disease 2019. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.